This is Dane Wigan from geoengineeringwatch.org. I can, I can scarcely believe what I see before me now, the climate engineers laying waste to the forest all over the world here in Northern California, and this being one of my most treasured sacred places in my habitat preserve, and the most recent chemical ice nucleating winter weather assault has laid waste to this incredible location. If you look before me, it looks like a bomb went off. It literally looks like a bomb went off. I can't, I, 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 mean, I don't have the words for this. This is, these are massive dug fir trunks. This is the same tree from clear across the canyon on that side. A massive dug fir because of the chemical ice nucleated concrete mess from the climate engineering weather terrorists. A massive dug fir clear across the canyon, about 150 foot tall dug fir could not bear the weight of the chemical ice nucleated material that's like concrete sticking to its crown. It tipped the entire tree out of the opposite side of the canyon and as it came across it blew the entire top out of this canyon oak that's probably four or five hundred years old. One of my favorite trees, one of my most sacred treasured trees that I have meditated under, slept under, contemplated the state of the world under, and now this entire location is completely obliterated. It literally looks like some sort of explosion occurred here. That fir blew the whole top out of this canyon live oak and caused a cascading collapse scenario. And how many people are looking the other way? How many so-called experts, how many so-called governmental agencies that are paid to show some sort of honor, some sort of morality toward the state of the forest, the state of the environment without which we are finished. No environment, no people, no habitat, no humans. It's a very simple equation. The destruction that's been caused here is, is absolutely catastrophic. This is a part of the crown. Another canyon oak knocked down here. You can see the, the amount of force it took to literally blow these trees apart like that. Uh, this, whole, this whole section has been completely wiped out. If you look here, this was another perhaps three, 400 year old canyon live oak, strongest oak in the forest an evergreen oak that is adapted to carry snow load from naturally nucleated snow, not chemically nucleated concrete material. That collapsing fur across the canyon blew out the top of that canyon oak, which then fell against this canyon oak. He stretches into the canyon about 130 or 40 feet, blew the entire area completely apart. This is just staggering. I don't have the words for this. I'm all people caught up in politics, an orchestrated political theater. This is what's going on. The last of our habitat, this canyon live oak, which is one of the primary acorn sources for the wildlife that yet survives. And as these trees came down, it also blew the tops out of those two dug fir, which were incredibly weak. The UV radiation is frying the crowns. The root systems are compromised from the toxic material. We now have peer-reviewed study to prove the polymer fibers are in this nucleated material. And this, this is the root ball from this canyon live oak. A massive, massive root ball. And this chemically nucleated material blew him right out of the rock that he was anchored to, ripped him right out of the rock. And this is a massive, massive tree that, that I have, I don't have the words, I don't have the words to see this incredible sentient being laying on the ground, now doomed and dead, because the power structure and the weather terrorists feel they have the right to do this to the environment. And you, the whole forest is thinning and falling apart but to see this to see this massive specimen just completely blown apart 
I don't have the words for this. And how many honorless so-called climate scientists pretending this isn't happening? How many so-called environmental agencies to protect their 501c3 nonprofits pretending that this isn't happening? There's no honor left in our society. None. You see how far this tree stretches down the canyon and he is done, dead. One of the last truly spectacular specimens in my habitat and now he's dead and gone. I'm going to send off this. I'm going to show the dug fur that it was tipped over that caused this cascading collapse of trees. There's water running in the creeks for the moment. But what we're getting is so-called weather is just chemically nucleated assaults. It goes from 75 degrees to snow, back to 75 degrees, back to snow. So-called weather forecasters can't figure out what the script is because it changes from hour to hour now. And the most recent nucleated event here in Northern California, they altered the scheduled weather prediction about six times in the day prior to this event happening from snow to no snow, back to snow, back to no snow. The snow started falling at about 40 plus degrees. And the material that falls when it's on the ground, if you measure with a temperature, laser temperature gun, it's 20 degrees colder than the ambient temperature. How does that happen? Chemical ice nucleation is out. Look at this specimen laying on the ground. Done, decimated, the forest completely crushed. What was a shaded canopy is now completely blown to bits. And how long has GeoGingWatch.org been warning about this? And how many, even in the alternative media, that we need to help. GeoGingWatch.org needs other sources and sites and alternative media to help us to sound the alarm on the chemical ice nucleating aspect of climate engineering. And none of them are. Whenever an event like this happens, we have too many alternate media pretending that this is just the result of nature and, quote, global cooling. And the global cooling narrative is exactly the narrative the climate engineers and the power structure want parroted from the population because that masks the true severity of climate collapse. I don't even have the words for this. this look across the canyon and you can see the massive, massive root ball from this spectacular four or five hundred year old Doug Fir. He couldn't bear the load. He, he tilted out over the canyon. He was an incredible specimen. This is part of my habitat preserve. And you can still see a, a few little patches of snow on the ground. It melted incredibly fast because it's already about 50 degrees when it was covered. This entire patch was covered with snow this morning. And you see this spectacular fur tilted out, stretched clear across the canyon, shattered with incredible force, blowing the top out of the canyon oak. You can see behind me, it was a spectacular canopy here. Blown to bits, absolutely blew it apart and, and shattered this incredibly thick, once strong dug fur into multiple chunks. It's, I, you know, I'm running out of running out of words anymore for what's happening. But this can't be stopped by a few. Can't be stopped by a few of us fighting on behalf of the rest of us. It can't be. It's, gonna, it's going to take all of us to bring this issue to light and to a halt. And that's what's happening in our forest. Being laid to waste. For how long can this continue? How much longer? The planet's life support systems are collapsing.
as methane spews into the atmosphere, climate engineering in the attempt to mask it, hide it in the polar regions, and create these engineered winter weather events like we just saw in Texas. While Texas was zero degrees in Dallas, it was 85 degrees. At the same latitude in Florida, it was 30 degrees warmer at the North Pole. If we don't hear any of that from mainstream media and our so-called experts, where is honor? Where is morality? Where is virtue? Where is any concern for one's posterity for these people working in these agencies that are not they're not exposing threats to the public federal agencies forest service fish and game epa and all the rest they're not disclosing the threat they're hiding it that's what they're tasked with doing masking the threat i've been in the field with usda cal fire soil scientists and i'm not blaming everyone in these agencies but i'm saying the experts in these agencies are hiding what's happening here in the forest. But the soil microbiome is being wiped out because there's contamination in the rain that's killing the root systems. The tree starts to die a slow, protracted death. The root systems are weakened. The chemical concrete snow falls and collapses what's left of the forest. These forests aren't coming back. They're not coming back in any time frame that matters. In the equilibrium period from previous mass extinctions which we are absolutely neck deep in right now previous equilibrium periods the most comparable events that were hap that happened actually hundreds of times slower than this event 10 to 20 million year equilibrium periods again it looks like a bomb went off here and after the weather front passes through the climate engineers typically back off somewhat on their aerosol operations until the next front starts to come through and they start to hammer it again. They're chemically nucleating everything they can to create the illusion of cold on a world that's in total meltdown. The only way we're going to bring this issue to light again, it will take all of us. Sharing credible data is absolutely essential. And there are too many people sharing whatever narrative they heard from someone else or whatever feels good or feels right to them or what they wish was so when it's not. If we have any chance of salvaging anything from our planet's remaining life support systems, which again are being blown apart by the day, climate engineering must be stopped. The destruction from industrialized, militarized civilization must be stopped. But that starts with exposing and halting climate engineering, the single most destructive factor on the planet at this point in time, single greatest and most immediate threat we collectively face short of nuclear cataclysm. It's a mathematical and statistical fact. If we don't stop it soon, game over. And we are breathing what they are spraying. Every breath we take is laden with heavy metals like aluminum, barium, strontium, polymer fibers. Encourage everyone to use the film The Dimming, which UNJ.org has just released. It's a documentary that confirms conclusively what the heavy aircraft are dispersing in our skies. That film can be emailed to anyone, anywhere, for free. We're asking for help circulating this film so that we can show conclusively that these operations are real. They're not a proposal. Please, please help geoengineeringwatch.org sound the alarm. Make your voice heard. Make every day count. This is Dane Wigginton with geoengineeringwatch.org.